My name is Second Lieutenant Tessa Bagwell. I'm the conference course XO for the Repel Tower, the obstacle course that's here at CST this year. I'm a military intelligence officer and I graduated from the University of New Mexico. Here at the Repel side of the conference course, the cadets are trained to tie Swiss seats or hip, hip repel seats in the rope corrals. From there, they move to the RMPI or Repel Master Preliminary Inspection Stations to make sure they're tied properly. First off, they go down the slant wall. It's a shorter wall to instill confidence in their equipment and get them familiar with the actual movements they'll be doing to get themselves down the wall. From there, they progress on up to the tower after going through RMPI again. Then they do the, the closed wall at that point, and then they progress to the open wall after another uh, round through IMPI to make sure that Swiss seat is still tied nice and tight for them. And the repel tower side of it is really just to instill confidence in the cadets, uh, being able to go through different austere circumstances, being able to do things that they didn't think they could previously do, um, and getting some exposure to getting to do some exciting training mixed in with some of the more tedious stuff they'll be doing as well. The reason why I joined the Army ROTC is I felt like I had the duty to serve my country while also having that family tradition. I'll be the first generational officer in my family. When you have to look it down and say what lane you're at, I was like, there's no way this man can hold me back and he got me the whole time. I'm Cadet Davis. Uh, I'm part of 2nd Regiment and I attend Bowie State University. So I joined Army ROTC because I wanted to make a bigger difference. Uh, I used to be prior enlisted and I felt like the impact that I wanted to make was only by crossing over from enlisted to being an officer. I really didn't do anything to prepare myself besides prepare my thoughts because I'm really afraid of heights, but I just told myself to just do it and that's what I did. I was just extremely proud of myself and uh, of the accomplishment I made and I'm glad I was able to trust the, the cadre and the, the material and equipment itself because uh, it made me meet my goals.